Hi, hello. I'm Rochelle with Dreaming English, and today I'm going to tell you a story about my grandparents' first camping trip with their kids. So my grandparents at the time... my grandfather and then they had my uncle Dennis this is my mom and this is my aunt Nancy and my aunt Sharon and my grandmother at the time was pregnant with my aunt Mary so there was six and a half of them and they were going in an old Ford an old Ford station wagon and so this is the station wagon and they packed my grandfather because there were six and a half of them they packed all the stuff on top of the station wagon. And my grandfather tied it down and he tied it with rope. So he tied all of the, the things that they were bringing with them with rope. And they started to drive and they were driving to, they were driving to Lake George. So we live in Massachusetts, which roughly looks like this. And we have Maine here, something like this. And we have New Hampshire, comes down like this. And then we have Vermont, something like this. This is Vermont. And here is a big state of New York, New York State. And somewhere up here is Lake George. And they live here. So they were going to drive all this way. And this, this was around 1959. So they were driving to Lake George, which now, in 2019, it would take 3.5 hours to drive there. But back then, the roads weren't as good. So maybe it took seven hours. So my grandfather is driving the car with all this stuff loaded on top of the vehicle. And then all of a sudden he heard roo, 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 roo. So, cause there was a police car. With the sirens going. And he got pulled over because he was exceeding the height that was supposed to be on top of a vehicle. So that was the beginning of their adventure. So they drive all the way and they go over to Lake George. And so they go into the beach and because they had all this stuff all loaded on the top of their vehicle, they look like a bunch of hillbillies. So, because my grandfather's ingenious, he couldn't fit the stuff inside. He loaded it on top, and there they were driving, and they get to the beach looking like a bunch of hillbillies. So, but then they had to change and put on their sunglasses and put on their bathing suits, and they went over to the beach. And they spent the day at the beach, and they had a lot of fun. They were, they were swimming, and my, my, Mother was making a sand castle on the beach. And my grandmother was sitting under an umbrella. And here's my uncle. He's swimming. So he was swimming. There were sailboats in the water. So they were having a marvelous day. But my grandmother, because she's sitting in the sun, she got a little sunburn because she forgot to put sunblock on. So that night, the way that they were going to sleep because it was their first camping trip is that my grandfather, he took some wood, but bigger than this. He took wood that was really long and he put it, what he did, this isn't the best model of, but this is a Ford and he had a Ford and he put the boards, he put them along the edge and what he did was he made bunk beds so that way, when they were sleeping, so they were sleeping in the Ford, and here's the back of the Ford, 
So he put the boards here. So the first night, he had the girls sleeping on the top bunk. And that's their feet on the top bunk. And my grandparents slept on the bottom bunk. Now my grandmother, because she was all into fashion, every night she had to put in her curlers to make her hair curly. So she put in her curlers like this. See? And she climbed in with her big, her big belly with my Aunt Mary. And she climbed into the bottom of that Ford to sleep, but she didn't sleep very well. And the reason that my grandparents slept on the bottom was that these wheel wells where the wheels were, it didn't leave much room for the kids. So the next morning, my grandmother woke up and she didn't sleep well and she didn't have much room. So she decided the next night that they had to change it up. And that, oh, I forgot to say that my uncle, he was sleeping in the front. So there's my uncle here. It was the bench seat of the, for, of the Ford, and he was sleeping there. So here he is, sleeping. And my aunts and my mom, this is my mom here, and Nancy and Sharon. And my grandfather all sleeping, but not my grandmother. She was not comfortable. So, so the next night, she decided that instead, the girls were going to sleep on the bottom. So here's Aunt Nancy. And here, here's Sharon. And here's my mom. So now they're kind of squished, but they're still sleeping because they're kids. So they're sleeping and they're comfortable. And my grandmother's trying to sleep and she's trying to get comfortable. Oh, but she's tossing, and here she is. So just we see my grandmother not sleeping, my grandfather. So she's tossing, and she's turning, and she's trying to sleep, but oh, she couldn't sleep too well. And she had to get out of bed because when you're pregnant, when a woman is pregnant, they have to go to the bathroom a lot. Right? So my grandmother had to get out to go to the bathroom. And she realized that when she was gonna get out, that she first, she had to turn herself around because her head was over here at this end. And she had to turn herself around so she could get her feet. So she had to get herself this way. and climb out. Oh, oh my back, oh my back. Sleeping on this board hasn't been easy. I told Vinny that I wanted to go to a hotel. I didn't want to sleep in our Ford. Well, oh shh, I forgot. I don't want to, I don't want to wake up all of the campers and my kids. I want to let you know this is this is part one. Come back to part two to find out, did we go to a nice hotel? Did we pack up and leave? How did we resolve this issue that I couldn't sleep? Oh, so, well, I'm gonna try to get some sleep again. Oh. <laughs>